Well, let me thank uh, Leader Pelosi and all of my colleagues uh, for being here today. Uh, thank uh, Chai Ling and, uh, and others uh, for uh, their presence here today. I want to thank Chris Smith uh, for helping to organize uh, all of this. <coughs> to do a simple thing, but frankly, uh, a very powerful thing. And that is, of course, uh, to remember. You know, when some Chinese uh, leaders were nervous about how the world would react to Tian Tiananmen Square, one said, they'll soon forget. They were banking on that, and they still are. Today, the most uh, popular Chinese search engine uh, blocks at least 19 uh, derivations of 6-4. Uh, measure this cowardice against the courage it takes for an innocent man uh, to pin a sign on his chest that says, aim your guns here. Or the heart that it takes for Chai Ling, a woman who saw hundreds die, uh, to now say, I forgive uh, the soldiers who stormed the square. Uh, they want us to forget all this, but you can't overcome the past by ignoring it. And so uh, we stand here together, uh, we'll never forget, and the truth will always overcome the lies. You know, it's a coincidence of history. Uh, but June 4th, 1989, was also the day that Poland uh, held its first free elections in nearly 40 years. That day, uh, the Solidarity Movement won nearly every seat that it could. But as historians have observed, when even more, what's more, even more remarkable is that the communists recognized the victory at all. Because once they did, everything fell apart. That's how powerful, that's how liberating the truth really is. And it's been said many times in many ways, but uh, the real enemy of democracy isn't tyranny. It's apathy. It's forgetting. And the U.S. House of Representatives is committed uh, to remembering Tiananmen Square so we can keep alive the hunger for freedom, the hunger for the truth. And again, I want to thank Chris and all of you who are with us today uh, for for remembering the 25th anniversary of Tiananmen Square. <laughs>